let's get into our show. <laughs> it's time for quick fire. Our hosts have some topics they want to share, but they only have three minutes to discuss and one minute to hear from the audience. Make sure you type those comments in really quick. Any topics where our host won't shut up, we've got the dreaded mute button and they can save their comments for the after show. All right, let's do it. Robbie, you're up first. You want to talk about this racist fool, Tucker Carlson. Well, I don't want to talk about him, but let's talk <laughs> about him. Fox News host uh, Tucker Carlson is being called out as a racist again after he called <clears throat> on uh, President Joe Biden to release Supreme Court nominee Kanji Brown Jackson's LSAT scores, her law school admi admission test scores. So during his show, uh, Tucker said, that's not a name most Americans know because Katanji Brown Jackson has been an appellate judge for less than a year. But Joe Biden assured us that she is, quote, one of our top legal minds. So now, what do you make of Tucker Carlson's request for Katanji Brown Jackson's LSAT scores? <laughs> you said <laughs> appellate judge. <laughs> you know, you know, you know someone. Who, I know you, you, you definitely know. You know someone who is into IT <laughs> when they say appellate. <laughs> appellate judge what do you think gianni uh i looking at it at first what what tucker carlson uh, mentioned i didn't think racism but i don't think and i don't know anything about law but i don't think the l stats determine like basically i feel like her rulings how she handles the courtroom should determine how she is as a judge and if she know, knows the law if she knows what she's doing I don't think that the LSATs really matter. So the score, it was a, an irrelevant. It was irrelevant to me. Yeah. Liz? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's how I feel about so, it. For our but, listeners that can't yeah. see that. <laughs> but, but, you know, this is, this is what the Republican Party, conservative white male Republicans have turned into, into this country. You guys remember back in 2011 when Donald Trump questioned how then President Barack Obama was able to get into two mm. Ivy League schools, Columbia for undergrad, Harvard Law, and questioned and wanted to see his test scores and his grades. All the people who questioned how AOC got into Boston University because she was a bartender. This is what happens in this country. Mm -hmm. Only white people can be smart and astute and have a good education. The rest of us, you know, we're all affirmative action. Mm -hmm. We don't matter. Mm -hmm. We don't matter. I say, I say they're grasping for straws. I mean, if, if that's the best you can come up with, Tucker, is what I were know. her LSAT scores? That's that means she is a well-qualified candidate for Supreme Court nominee. So that means there should be no problems getting her through. I mean, that, like Liz said, this is, this is what the, left, the right does all the time, is look for something to break people down, especially if it's a black woman. I don't know. I don't. I kind of agree with Johnny. I don't know if this is racist or not. Um, it's racist. It, it's racist in the Ooh. fact that it's directed towards a black woman, and it, this is typically directed towards a black woman. I mean, black people. But when 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 has someone from the white who is non-black <laughs> ever posed this question to someone who was white? None of the other that's Supreme always the Court question. justice nominees right. were asked this question. Uh, Donald Trump, who can barely read, <laughs> who was a legacy when he got mm -hmm. into, you know, the business school or what have you. George right. W. Bush, who was a C student, but somehow got into right. Yale. No one asked any questions <laughs> of them. All right, so let's let's go to these comments online. Jeanette Brown says, what are Tuck's scores? <laughs> uh, Darry mm. Winter says, he has no mind. Move on. Uh, <laughs> Mike Winter says, who cares about admission Very test scores if you're, if you graduate cum, uh, cum laude from Harvard Law School, that Bama yeah. paid his way into a non top tier school. This dog whistle and is like racist. Barack, Always has been. And like Barack Obama, she was head of the Harvard Law Review. Hello. Yes, she was. Hello. <laughs> Daria Winter said, how, how did he make it from K to first grade? Put your scores for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jeanette Brown says it's racist and sexist. He, uh, Mike Winter also says it is racist, always has been. Jacqueline Brown says it isn't. Isn't it funny how 
the goalposts change when highly qualified black people break the ultimate mm-hmm. glass ceiling from Obama's test scores to Kamala's record uh, to Judge Jackson's LSATs. All mm-hmm. great comments. Is this truth, lies, or shenanigans? Yeah, you got to show off the bullshit. You gotta start the show off of bullshit. Tuck, Tucker's such a waste of energy. What is, I got shenanigans. 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 Yeah. Tucker's such a waste of energy. I mean, I'm just so Tucker tired. Tucker Carlson, who, who, was, who was a Putin supporter before last week. Ooh. Now he's trying to clean up. Oh, yeah, he's trying to clean it up. <laughs> he flipped that switch. Trying to clean it up. Mm, mm. All right, Lizzie. You are up next. Whoops. Ooh, <laughs> That was Rudy. Um, so here we have Miss Sherry Papini, beautiful blonde, blue-eyed white woman. She didn't get shit smeared in her face like Neo is projecting in that in that clip. That's still to come. But in 2016, Miss Papini, she went missing for 22 days. She supposedly was out on a jog and went missing. And you know, there was a nationwide search for her. And then all of a sudden, she showed up 22 days later, three weeks later. She was beaten, burned, bruised, branded. And she said that two Hispanic women kidnapped her, her and tortured her and held her for three weeks. Police did an investigation. They didn't believe her in the beginning, but she and her husband were steadfast in their accusations that, yes, she was kidnapped. She got um, $50,000 from a GoFundMe, an additional 30 some thousand dollars from a victim's advocacy fund. So my question to you guys is, Ms. Papini was arrested this week on Thursday for lying, for it all <laughs> being a hoax. White women's fears, y'all. So she was arrested and she faces charges on uh, lying to the feds and mail fraud punishable by up to 20 years in prison and a $250,000 fine. So first and foremost, what do you guys think of Miss Papini? <laughs> Let's start with Bob. Much ado about um, nothing? Man, no, that hits close to home. It's uh, just having mom of two just pick up and leave. What? Yeah, that hits a little close to home. So that happened just, to you? You know. And yeah, essentially, there was no kidnapping narrative that was thrown into the mix. It was just baby mama oh. up and leaving. So, um, yeah, she's a special kind of individual in my books. Yeah. And the fact that she took, she collected 35 payments, totaling 30000 from the California Victim uh, Compensation Board. That's a special brand of evil. And I hope that she gets everything that's coming to her from the legal system. I hope she has to pay back every single dime and what she did to her husband and children inexcusable shame on you shame <laughs> gianni yeah she's horrible i think that she does deserve <laughs> everything i think she deserves everything that she's about to get but most importantly i think like i wanted to make an example because i was reading twitter comments i thought this comment was interesting um one twitter user says i did not see that coming talking about Sherry Papini faking her kidnapping, especially after so many years has passed since the incident. I'm feeling like a bit of a dumbass for believing her and even defending her in comments on YouTube, but I'd rather be fooled sometimes than completely lose my faith in people, I guess. My mm. point Mm-mm. my point is we Not don't need to react to everything. Yeah, yeah, we don't need just... to react to everything before we, we come to an opinion. Like, let it play out, then let all the facts get laid out, and then let's Let's use reason, because this is this is why things like Jesse Smollett happened. I'm just wondering. White women fears. I'm just wondering what what took him took him so long to uh, arrest her. That's all I was trying to figure out. I mean, I think they were obvious. trying to build a case. So 15 because seconds. again, yeah. they they were trying to build a case because again, the the feds and the poli- local police they never let their foot get off of her neck. And in 2020 is when the feds interviewed because she it turns out she was with her ex boyfriend. <laughs> That's where she was for the yeah. three weeks. She was shacked up with her yeah. ex-boyfriend. And the feds yeah. interviewed the ex-boyfriend in 2020, and that's when he came clean. Because you can't lie to the feds without going to jail. Yeah. So they've consistently been on this. And one last point. Right. So it turns out the money for the GoFundMe, so now they think her husband was in on it. 
because the $50,000 that she got from the GoFundMe, the husband wrote a check to pay off all of their credit card debt. And he got that money. Mm. Oh, so, yeah. Sure. Comments yeah, online. He was in we on got it. Mike Winter says, those powerful Andrew. tears. Jose Ooh, says, child. karma. Um, Jacqueline Robinson, trifling. You have to love her family being all outraged because this woman was aggressively arrested in front of her kids. No outrage apparently about the lies, fraud, and potential oh racial profiling of Latino women. Jose Thank says, you. Karen got caught. That's good. Uh, Mike Winter repeats, those powerful white woman tears led to Emmett Till and they still hold the same power. Yep. Is this true yep. lies or shenanigans? Now y'all know the devil, lies. blonde devil is full of lies. The blonde devil is full of lies. lies. I'm saying she's full of lies. Shenanigans. No. <laughs> the no. Oh yeah, she's, she's all lies, yeah. <laughs> What'd you say, Gianni? It's lies and it's bullshit. And bullshit. If that's all right. Or oh, I have a bullshit. Can I have a bullshit? <laughs> she's what you're looking for the bullshit. Thank you. <laughs> All right. It's really shameful, though. It really sh it, it it's really a shame. Really um, especially for her children. Especially for her children. 